Yo, what's going on you guys? It's Vlogs IWC back here with another video and today if you guys have not already seen the EA Sports College Football has released a brand new video talking about the new dynasty that is going to be coming out into the brand new video game. And I'm going to be doing my live reactions on this and if you guys can make sure to drop a like and subscribe and comment down below what teams you are going to be playing as in dynasty. I'm going to be personally playing as the Huskers and the Colorado State Rams so be on the lookout for those videos here in the near future. And let's get right into this video. Here we go, guys. Ten seconds. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I cannot wait to play Dynasty again, y'all. Three, two, one. Let's go, let's go. Hey everyone, Kirk Herbstreet here with EA Sports oh my gosh. College Football 25, back for another deep dive. This time we're talking about everyone's favorite mode, Dynasty. Ooh, the menu looks Online cool. Online Dynasty in College Football 25 can accommodate up to 32 teams, and you can play with friends for up to 30 seasons. Jesus. Today we'll take a closer look at the new 12-team college yes, football playoffs. Yes, the playoffs. Recruiting, Let's go. The transfer portal and a ton of customization options to make your program unique. Oh my lord, dude. College football has seen seismic changes over the past few years. And in EA Sports College Football 25, you can experience this new landscape while building your program the way you want. The 2024 season marks the debut of the new 12-team college football playoff, and you can play it first in the game months before the real thing. Unbelievable. You can be the first coach to lead your school through the new 12 team playoff and hoist the college football playoff trophy. Dude. Recruiting is the lifeblood of college football. And in a world of unlimited transfers, managing your dynasty roster has never been more important. Evaluate your needs and opportunities for talent upgrades at the start of each season. The best way to build a powerhouse is to recruit through the high school ranks. So let's fill up your recruiting board. Each year, over 3,500 high school recruits are generated from all over the country, with certain regions representing real-world hotspots for blue-chip talent, like South Florida and Metro Atlanta. Do research to find recruits that best fit your program and determine who you can realistically land. A recruit's interest in your school is decided by 14 different pitch grades like proximity to home, playing time, and brand exposure. So you'll need to discover how your program's pitch grades align with your okay. recruit's desires in addition to scouting for talent. I mean, this is going to be one of those things that's going to be difficult for me, but I'll try to figure it out as long. Some players have a deal breaker requirement, and if your program cannot provide, the recruit will lock you out. Wow. Deal breakers also drive a player's decision to enter the transfer portal. Monitor at-risk players and get one last chance to convince your favorites to stay. Track your recruits as they narrow down their top schools. Pitch a prospect to gain more interest and then set up school visits when the timing is right. It's crucial to remain in their top 10. Hey, York, eight, Nebraska. Five to finally be part of their top three. As a recruit trims down to the Shout top out to anybody eight, from York you can here. attempt to increase your appeal. If your school doesn't have exactly what the prospect is looking for, you can try to sway their opinion in your favor. Plan visits that elevate a recruit's experience, like pairing a quarterback visit with a wide receiver visit at the same time. Hmm. It's crucial to keep an eye on the transfer portal when it opens. They the added Liberty, Kennesaw State. Your roster with talent you couldn't land from recruiting. Add portal prospects to your board just like you would with recruiting, but expect quick decisions as transfers have a shorter timeline to land a new home. Conference realignment is a hot topic in college football. And with custom conferences in EA Sports College yes, Football 25, they kept them in. Dynasty is yours to control. Thank See God. Team I'd love the custom like, conferences. Or revert to the because I'd be, you know, I'd either go fuck over a whole conference small conference as a big powerhouse, or it'd be the vice versa. I go as a small team going to a powerhouse conference and try to dominate. Once you've settled your conference options, it's time to I'm glad they brought that team. back. 
Begin with a highly ranked team and dominate at the top with repeat recruiting and playoff success. They play Clemson or in the MAC. build from the ground up with a smaller program and prove you have what it takes to go from an unknown to postseason favorite. Okay. We can't talk about your dynasty without talking about your starting job. Start okay. as an offensive or defensive coordinator and climb the ranks to head coach. Or Wait. take over a program as the head coach okay. right away. Okay, I'm off. Choose from one of the three I was gonna just, I was just about to ask about that. to start. Your coach type will determine what coaching skill tree you start with. From there, the abilities you acquire as you progress will determine what kind of coach you develop into. Unlock additional skill trees with better abilities. Or, if you build up multiple skill trees, you can unlock hybrid trees that leverage a more diverse okay. skill set. The coaching carousel is an important part of every coach's journey. And they Whether you're this. the head nice. man at your dream school or working your way up, the carousel is your way of fielding offers from other programs. Head coaches in Dynasty can actively manage their coordinator positions. So if one of your staff takes a job elsewhere or you decide to cut ties for other reasons, you can use the carousel to replace them. Remember, even the greatest coaches need support, and every coach has a unique skill tree. It's important to think about how you want to build your staff, whether that's doubling down on your existing strengths to max out your benefits or seeking out balance for a well-rounded staff. Choose wisely. The decisions you make here will matter to your program's success and your coach's progression. The benefits of coach talents are stackable. So, so if your head coach basically now they have like a, I th and I'm pretty sure they did as the previous ones. Nader have the same ability. But, um, the impact for that sorry, ability will be it. greater. Well, that's but, uh, it for today's deep dive into. So they added uh, leveling in systems in there now. Oh, there it is. All right, you guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe. My overall reactions is I am super super excited for this game to come out. I cannot wait to play the dynasties. Um, I'm glad they brought back the coaching carousel. I'm glad they brought back custom conferences. That's really, really nice. <clears throat> the new leveling up system is kind of cool for the new edition. But there's a lot of other things that are in the game that are going to, you know, going to take me some time to get used to and the transfer portal and all that such. But overall, I am super excited to play this game. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, I will be doing some Dynasty videos here and then, like, towards the end of the year because... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be coming out with a lot of content for the new college football game. So be on the lookout for it. It's going to be a lot of fun. And again, guys, can make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Go check us out on TikTok and Twitch. And this has been Vlogs IWC, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.